Hello everyone and welcome to Cobian History. Today we are going to have a look at another medieval profession. This time it's the cooper. Coopers are people that for the most part make wooden barrels, but they also make other items like wooden buckets, pots and things like butter churns and other related items. This profession can be traced back to around the 3rd century, when the Romans started using barrels to replace clay pots that were more easily breakable. And it is from Latin that we also get the name Cooper. Cooper is derived from the Latin word cupa, which means barrel. A cooper's craft can be split up into four divisions. The first one is a dry or slack cooper. They made containers that would be used for shipping dry goods such as cereals, tobacco, nails, fruits, vegetables. Then we have the dry tight cooper. They made casks designed to keep dry goods, but to keep moisture out. Examples of this are casks to store gunpowder or flour. The third is the white cooper. They would make containers like wash tubs, buckets, butter churns, which could hold water and other liquids, but weren't designed to ship them. Then the final division is the wet or tight cooper. They made casks or barrels made for long-term storage of liquids and also transportation of them. Examples of these are wine barrels or barrels to store beer or other liquids. Coopers were an important profession back in the day. You would find them on ships, docks or warehouses. And because their casks and barrels contained expensive liquids such as wine or cognac, these coopers had to be very skilled. The general cooper could repair a broken stave in a barrel without losing the contents of the barrel. Now we'll talk about how they made the barrels. And the first thing we have to know is the wood they used. Nowadays they typically use oak, either American or French, but a lot of other woods were used as well. And depending on which wood they used, they could influence the flavor of the liquids. Different types of wood, or even the same type of wood grown in different locations, could have different influences on the taste of wines or beers that were stored in it. The wood they used also had to be not free and the grain of the wood should be as straight as possible to make the best kinds of barrels. Once they cut out the planks that they would later use to make the staves of the barrel, it first had to be dried and aged. This could be done for several years and the reason they do it is because fresh cut wood could give a bad taste to the liquids inside of the barrel. Now that the wood is dry they could make the staves out of it. And to do this they would use a set of tools and knives to give the wood the curve that it needed. Now that they had the staves they could use them to make the form of the barrel. To do this they would use a metal hoop and they would put the staves on the inside of the hoop to make the initial round shape of the barrel. Then they steam the wood to make it more flexible and then they can continue working on the form of the barrel and they would add more hoops to the barrel to retain its form. Then once they finished the shape of the barrel they would let the wood dry and it would retain the right shape. Then the barrel could also be toasted, which was another way to influence the flavor of the liquids that were gonna be stored in it. Then the cooper would go over the barrel again to give it a smooth and round finish. Then all that is left is to create the head and the bottom of the barrel. They would do this by making a groove on the inside of the barrel and then cutting out the shape of the head and the bottom out of a wooden plate. The edges of the cutouts would be tapered to slide right into the groove that was made and they would usually also use some type of resin or natural glue to keep it in place. So that was my video on Coopers. I hope you've enjoyed and if you want to see more of my videos in the future you can subscribe to my channel.